Hello everybody, I hope you're doing good today. This video may contain copyrighted images being used underneath the Fair Use Act for educational purposes. It's time for my own Bob video. Man, I can't believe how many people in this flat earth community that are supposed to be awake. You got D. Marble, Patricia, Mark, you know, all these people that are supposed to be great for flat earth supporting Bob. You know, it's truth or 101 that you know to become a rapper, a musician of any kind, a uh, actor, uh, news media, and so on and so forth, you have to sell your soul. You have to sell your soul to the devil. That means they speak for you, they tell you when, where, and how, and they even write your own music. This is the cost if you want to be living the life of a millionaire in the music industry because otherwise you're not going to get it you're not going to get the music contracts unless you until you sell your soul to the devil and most of these guys have committed sexual acts and that's been uh, recorded on video so that if they ever try to decide to do something they're not supposed to they can be embarrassed by that video being leaked out and this is easy research, easily researchable. Just go right to YouTube and, and type in rappers selling their soul to the devil. You can watch video after video. You can watch people who backed out at the last minute because they didn't want to do that act or they didn't want to have to uh, sell their soul to the devil because it's against their Christianity. And then you'll have people who, 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 who sit there and tell you they, they did it. They sold their soul. Just to make millions like Bob does. So anyways, you got D Marble. This whole video is damage control. It goes all the way to, to, to uh, doing damage control for Mark, Patricia, Dirt, ODD, Jaron. I mean, he's, he's, he's doing it all in this video. So let's get started here and listen to this nonsense from this guy that's supposed to be awake. Uh, one thing people have been asking is, why hasn't he reached out to the community? Well, actually, last week he followed me on Twitter. So he kind of has reached out to the community. <laughs> and I plan on being a sort of bridge at this point. So, uh, once I realize that he... he, he he's going to be a bridge to bridge us to the people that have been lying to us and telling us we're living on a ball. That's what kind of bridge you want to be, D Marble. Because if you're really awake, you realize that Bob is working for the same people that tell us we live on a fucking ball. Duh! He wouldn't have millions of dollars if he didn't. This is this is easily researchable. This clown calls looking at his Twitter and Facebook pages uh, research. And, and after he did this research, he could call Bob legit. That's freaking ridiculous. Let's keep going here. Research. Uh, I've even heard that that plaque that, that he was uh, seen, you know, taking a picture with, that was sent to him by the Flat Earth Society. Yeah. PSYOP group. So that's my conclusion. Because he's part of the PSYOP. Let's keep going. Conclusion at this point. Editor's note. This video is very bizarre. You see that editor's note? And he looks, look at how he looks like he's fucking stoned off his mind here. Very bizarre video. The way he edits it, what he says in it. I mean, he's either dumb or he's willingly duping you all. That's the only two choices here. Let's keep going. Concerning the plaque from the Flatter Society that we. CBOB with. Now, if we understand the cunning nature of the people that we're dealing with, the idea that BOB has around 886,000 subscribers on uh, YouTube alone. That, that's not to mention his Twitter, Instagram, and uh, Facebook fan page and all that. There are Big deal! Hundreds of thousands of people who pay attention to him. So, what if at the point where it was noticed that he was waking up to the flat earth truth that 
the Flat Earth Society decided that they would send him a plaque and have someone take a picture of him receiving that plaque to use it later. Because we know that the Flat Earth Society is a government-controlled disinfo organization that, that just teaches ridiculous things about... They're the same people that bought out Bob and every other freaking actor and person in Hollywood in the entertainment industry. This guy's this guy's not very bright. <laughs> I, I'm shocked at at, at at what he says in this video. <laughs> Man, let's keep going here. I mean, I learned this back in I don't know. I think it was 2005 when I research, re realized that the media, the 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 me uh, the entertainment industry, uh, all of them were all used to control us. That's that's Truther 101, and Bob is one of them. <laughs> Let's keep going here. Dee Marble explains how he was smeared, and that's exactly he gets smeared with his uh, his level experiment. Let's listen. Uh, I've been scrutinized in multiple, uh, you know, news outlets online. I mean, just I mean, I've, I've been called all kinds of names, and they they have someone who's being genuine and then put them out in the open and put a negative slant on it in order to turn people against that. Okay? Bob isn't being genuine. Bob can't do whatever Bob wants to do. If Bob does something against the cabal, he will be broke. He will never work again. It's happened to many of them. You're not fooling anybody, D Marble. I've seen that. I've had that done to me, and I believe that's potentially what could be going on with B.O.B. Oh, yeah. I'm not yeah, saying that's what yeah, it is yeah. or what it's not. i just like yeah. to uh, um, submit that idea in addition to what's being said here. Now, being that there are so many people who follow him, uh, it would be beneficial to us as a whole if he is in fact being sincere uh, with what he's trying to do as far as multiple experiments. And he's everything. not being sincere. So I encourage us to, to just wait it out and see what happens. What? You see what I mean by how what bizarre this is? As far as Oops, sorry. And then it cuts back to his van totally freaking bizarre man it's like he had problems making this video and making it sound like it was uh legit i guess <laughs> well he still failed let's keep going here oh he talks about him messaging bob but is he really messaging bob is it really the artist behind his twitter account i highly doubt it we want to hear from him. We want to try to understand better. So I, I sent him another message recently uh, after I did my research. And I asked him this. I said, it seems his research was going to his Twitter page and his Facebook and saying, okay, he seems legit. We could trust him, Flat Earth community. Well, I've done my research on this long ago. And me and many others in the flat earth community know that's bullshit. He sold his soul. Once they sell their soul, that's it. They're under the control of the cabal. It's either that or they end up homeless. What do you do not understand about that, D-Marble? Let's keep going here. It seems like you're kind of forcing the general public to question whether satellites in space are even real. I'm trying to figure this out so I can get back to the FE community and get them to relax their stance on your GoFundMe. Now, it's not going to happen. With that, uh, you know that that's just my conclusion from the research that I've done, uh, as far as you know what what he's been doing lately, and I, I do the same thing. You know, I'll play I'll play a uh, Glover's advocate. You know, like when I said, if the moon is a solid object, why don't we put a camera on the moon? Because that camera will be facing towards the Earth because we only see that one side of the moon. It's kind of like playing the other side is potentially what he's doing. So he sent me a message back, and it was a link. 
to an Instagram post. From and this is what I mean. It's likely not even Bob behind this account. Because all he got was a link from a previous post. <laughs> so how do you know you're even talking to Bob, D Marble? You're, you're just doing this for the fame, D Marble. I already know this. Because you got a freaking ego. But this is going to be your downfall. Let's keep going. From a couple days ago, just to clear things up. And in that post, here's what he said. To clear the air and answer a lot of questions, the purpose of the GoFundMe is to use every option publicly available to gain as high a vantage point as possible and acquire footage of different altitudes. I cannot be biased and rule things out because that isn't what science is. I have to account for every variable and every option. Even if we know it pro So now it's gone from sending satellites to space to sending up, I guess, balloons carrying cameras to get video at different altitudes. We already have that. So what is he doing any different? This is absurd. He can't even keep his story straight of what he's going to do. It's changed three times now with this new post. Wow. And we're supposed to get behind this? Later on, D. Marble tells us, if you don't believe in this, you don't have to give you the money. Well, why are you making this video telling us to get behind it and support us? Go fund me. That's exactly what you're telling us to do. Give them our money. Wow. Let's keep going here. Probably won't work. That's a part of research. Thank you all for participating. That didn't even sound like Bob. <laughs> now I'll bet you a hundred bucks it wasn't Bob. Let's keep going here. Again, you got D Marble, you got Jaron, you got ODD. I seen ODD on his live stream the other day. Hey man, it's me, man, ODD. They're all trying to reach that stardom, that fame, reach that wealth, that money. It's all about egos, feeding their egos. Who's gonna get who's gonna be Bob's go-to guy in the flat earth community. As if Bob is doing this for the good of the flat earth community. <laughs> Let's keep going here. Because this gets to the part where, uh, well, wait, I skipped one. Yep. Here we go. Let's listen. It won't work. Now, the part where he said, even if we know it probably won't work. It won't work. Listen, he already admits this all won't work. So why give us some give money? You know, uh, in the recent live stream, he talked about the firmament. He talks about space and how satellites are probably BS in his music. If you go take some time to actually listen to what he has to say, you'll figure that out pretty quickly. So I'm believing that. Is that why he first said he wanted to send satellites up into space, D. Marble? And again, he don't write his own music. This is well known. It's it's you can research this. All of what I'm telling you about these rappers and these people in Hollywood and the media. In fact, they all use fake names too. Let's keep going. Now this is the part where D Marble's got to shift gears here and he's got to protect the shills. Mark, Patricia, ODD, Jaron. I mean, he goes on down the list. But we'll just listen to part of it here because it's just damage control. And this tells me that we're having an effect and we need to keep after him. Um, and then you have what's been going on in the community a lot. That, that I've seen a, a lot of this calling each other shills man this is a, a huge huge issue you know um, not, not exactly sure what the the true definition of a shill is I think we all need to kind of figure out this term that's used so much and we need, all need to come up with an idea or a definitive definition of what a shill is <laughs> first of all before we start calling each other a shill a shill is somebody who sold their soul that's in it for the money or in it for the control. How hard is that to understand, D-Marble? 
<clears throat> you know, somebody that's uh, helping the Illuminati and their little uh, rapper puppets is a shill. Do I need to go any further with my definition? Let's listen to them some more. We're calling everybody a shill. You know, I'm, I'm hearing people talking about B.O.B. I knew he was a shill. How? Because they, it's easily researchable. On what? Have you, have you listened to his music? Do you, do you like, live with him? Have you done any, any homework on this guy? So you know he was a shill how? Oh, I had a feeling about that guy. Oh, you had a feeling. Oh, you're a clairvoyant. Nice. Earlier, you told us you had a feeling he's great for the Flat Earth community based off his Twitter and Facebook page. You're a moron. A hypocrite. Wow, dude, I can't believe you, man. You're, and I thought you were smart. You try to pass. There's a lot of these channels that try to pass themselves off as smart. They can't even come in here and fool um, somebody that has the education of a, a high school education. You can't fool me. I've, I've, I've been in the truth community since 9-11. That's when I woke up. I've done enough research. Excuse me. <coughs> then he goes on and on about feelings. Let's listen. The thing is, um, I don't know, we, we're, we're supposed to be the ones that can sit here and before we come to a conclusion, we're going to gather data, we're going to gather our information, then we're going to formulate a conclusion. We're not, we're not the type to just go off of feelings on these things, are we? Are we researchers or not? Are we going to do our homework on these things? Feelings like the feelings you got after reading his Twitter and Facebook page that he's like, hey, great for flat earth. You had the same feelings. Shut up, you troll. You fool. Wow. You're a simpleton. You fail to think things out. Things are not. You know, especially people. Because uh, this is about uh, uh, unity at this point. We need to figure out a way to work together. More than I'm not going to work together with the same people that told me we live on a freaking ball. That's what you're telling us to do, D. Marble. Get freaking real. Ever. At some point, we're going to have to trust each other. You know, are we researchers? No, or I don't trust you. open-minded individuals that we claim to be, or are we not? You I'm an open-minded individual who's done some research past his uh, Twitter and Facebook page. These guys are, it's all about control as you're going to find out here. <laughs> and I mean just that. They're doing damage control and they're losing control so they're trying to regain control. They got to come up with new rules. <laughs> but anyways, let's listen to D Marble. He's, he changes his tune here again. And he's got to, oh, I got to do a better job of defending Mark, Patricia, and everybody else. <laughs> I, I'm just saying, it's like one one thing discredits everything else. And that's odd. That's really that's really odd to me. You know, we'll call somebody a shill based on what? People will call him Patricia Steer a shill. She is. An agent. She is. What, ha what exactly has she manifested to, to make her a shill? Obviously, you've not did, been did, paying did attention. Did you say something wrong on one of her broadcast she's done many things deep wrong d marble you know that you just choose to ignore it that's all it's all well documented she's creating dysfunction that's her job she admitted it she says it's all about creating one large flat earth of one large dysfunctional flat earth family she's a shill she's an agent you think she's going to pay money out of her own pocket to travel around the world to go to meetups? No. Neither is Mark. Mark trying to tell people, oh, he's got some flat earthers that are going to pay his way to Los Angeles. Bullshit. It's being paid for because that film producer is going to be there in Los Angeles, Mark. Your lies ain't getting anywhere, Mark. D. Marble. So on and so forth. Anyways, let's listen to this absurd new rule. You know, kind of draw a line in the sand, 
come up with a new rule. If an individual has woken up more people to flat earth than you, you don't get to call him a shill. <laughs> you know what he's saying? If, since, this is what he's saying. Let me in, give you an analogy. Since uh, Jaron, Bob, Patricia, Mark, uh, D. Marble, and all them have woken up more people than I, you, or anybody else, you can't say nothing about them. You can't question them. It isn't about just being a shill, because remember, in this community, by their rules, you're a shill if you question their integrity or what they're doing. And that's what this is all about. Damage control and controlling you. Have a good day, everybody.